mid and that jungle position, but now up against an Elise, this is a champion in Silas that falls very low in his first clear. Mowgli now pay taking the Elise for a sick engagement, Look, but he lands his air. Connect. Aftershock's already been proc. The Ignite is now ticking down. Kabi is going to go for the aggressive flash. He's moving forward. He wants to kill onto Attila. That's first blood. Nice signature pick, Kabi says, taking him down. Here, not going to be able to get anything else. Mowgli's going to grab the camp at the end of Visit Chachi. Just going to be an escape route for the Elise. And Jarvan is here to just say, just try it. But that's a low health bar for Mowgli. He's already Whoa. in the escape, but they're going to immediately go in. Another kill for Sp Splice here, Ender. Splice are just abusing some miscommunication. Why the concern has to be with Attila dying at level two with Norskaren and Kabi having complete control of this lane. Let's look at top. Play on the top side. Immediately Mowgli to swap form. Get the chain CC. Follow up and a kill now traded back. Just as predicted. Coming in right on that Jarvan. That was the spider one. Well, because some people don't know. It's like, well, what happens when you get transformed? Bot lane Hold Attila with the flash. Goes in. Nice pull oh. four. They are going to get the knock. They're immediately. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh god. Oh. Give him a oh no, here it comes. One more time. Unstoppable there, but the Cataclysm is going to come out. They're going to grab one more kill on Divisa Chachi. He does stun him to the wall. Now trying to pull back Cabo Shard. He's going to be able to make it Mowgli. I don't think it's going to be so lucky, though. Well, on this bottom side of the map. Here comes Suzuki. Kabi, that's not the bush you want to be. Oh, he showed! Still get the hook, though. JCC, Lucian going to try to dash, but no hope. Shut down now. Gold going to kill, or at the very least, an assist as Cabo Shard takes a monster trade against Chachi. Trying to wait, trying to avoid some of these trades here, but now the Zoe's moving up as well. If Kaba wants to get aggressive here, he's gonna get knocked up. The damage coming forward. Now Sleepy oh. desperately wants to get the kill. Asleep tries to block out a little bit here. Visit Chachi fails the flash. Can't get it. Shut down. Going over to the Oracle. Oh, feels a little untouchable. However, Zoe, not quite so untouchable. It's okay though. Trying to play this one slow. Now trying to back off as Norskaren has made his way into the lane. It's, oh, Mowgli gets caught. Okay. Well, Splice had walked all the way inside of Vitality's jungle and had gotten the, the, the drop down on Mowgli to get the kill. Now topside, Chachi in trouble. Flag and Dragon use the Cataclysm as well. Visit Chachi, no flash available. He's going to try to use the ultimate to try to turn this one back, but we'll get nothing there. That is the shutdown. <laughs> 450 gold shutdown. Cloud Drake, of course, going to be nice to have on a lot of these champions. The Zoe, the Silas especially. Other champions and the Blitzcrank. Not quite as keen, but... Well, as far as Edge, I almost always have to give it to Zoe because she can create so much pressure with the poke she provides. And it's pretty easy to single out some of these targets. Silas can switch over to that Jarvan ult. They can use that alongside the Orn to start team fights once they have the poke down. Well, Cabo's immediately going to go in here on the play. Mowgli now in trouble has to go up, comes right back down, wants to get out of this play immediately. Zerse has stolen the ultimate, is now going to fall off North Garen, throw the hook over the wall, and Shizuke and the rest of the team now fighting here. That's going to be the cash in for Attila. Massive spike oh. in gold, trying to change the CC. They're going to move in. They're not going to get the follow-up on the Echo, but North Karen is still set to follow. The z Dive Resident speeding him up, and that's the double for Attila. Attila putting some in. That's going to be from Visit Chachi, and he has the Orn Horn. Going to be big here. Going to have to see if we get the follow-up connect. Zerse now ready to leap forward. Nodes of the Fresh is the priority target. Has seen the Lantern come out. Cabo is next on the menu. Holding his time on the flag and drag. Backing off does not quite have enough mana. Just wants to clear the wave. Now juking around to get the knock-up. Well played by Cabo, but not enough. Abscond, abduct, and that's going to be a death. Uh, who's gonna get it? Copy. Uh, there we go. Shut Ooh, down. Shut down. Going to, to foresee all of those sorts of plays. Otherwise, you're gonna give Splice an opportunity to get back in the game. Ooh. But not if you catch our humanoid. Yeah, not if you catch our humanoid. Humanoid now running. He's gonna hit the thresh. But that's the least important target. Whirling death. The Draven on a killing spree. Just when you on the opposite side. Well played. Now matching the clouds here. So both teams are just gonna be able to chase their respective opponents. Level 11, the river around the Baron. They also have a wave here, but now a teleport comes in from Vitality. They want to fight. They're not even going to look at Kabi. They're trying to slow him down. Kabo, let's try and flex, flashing over the wall, trying to interrupt, trying to get something done. But no, the 80 carry is going to be for his life. Jizuke is still getting it. Immediately snaps back with the ultimate door scare and no man's land, and he will uh, go down. Vitality with perfect access to the pit now. Now with Kabi's wants to secure this one. And Zerse has the Echo Ultimate. He can go in for a seal if he makes it. No, he wastes it now. Humanoid now, Jizuke is trying to fall, trying to take the jungler out of the equation. His team is focused on the Baron. He's willing to give his life to make this one happen. Visit Chachi now. Moving low. In. Where is it going to go? He's dead. He has it. Not going to happen in the end. He wants to get it, but he goes down. Attila now on a rampage. They are going to take this one down in the end. It is a mess, but Vitality finds the Baron. So difficult spot for Splice to be. And now, if you're Splice, who do you send bottom lane? It has to be Visit Chachi. Zoe has to stay with the rest of the team. She can't clear the waves easily enough. So Vitality are going to reset. They've got now two towers. They're looking to break this third inner on the top side of the map. And then once that goes down, they can really clear this away. But mid lane is very hard to get rid of if you send multiple members down locked. Now trying to lock Suke. Does, of course, have the ultimate available. 
Takes a lot of damage there in the exchange, and of course, Cersei has the ultimate from the Jarvan. If he wants to use it, Cataclysm not going to be the priority here. Splice definitely just trying to pick at the health bars of the Vitality lineup, but have to respect the potential for all in Jack Paul's perfect vision of this. He's just going to throw the hook and throws it now. Oh. Well played. Chain CC now comes in immediately. He's going to go down. I'm sorry. I don't the think that's going to work. Not gonna oh! The escape! Suzuki's on the hunt, goes right back in and right back out. That's the beauty of the echo. Now Visitar's trying to find the fall. That's a low fear out. anything. When they use those teleports to get back in, they just keep the pressure up. And now Jarvan moving in, canceling out the sleepy as much as he can with the unstoppable. And now Humanoid gets taken down as well. Norse Karen is going to run for his life. Hook goes wide, so the Blitzcrank will get to live. And Visitar's fighting an echo, but Echo's just hitting the tower. Desperately, they want to grab this one, but... So he could just take his time, just backing off and slowly but surely. Vitality just picking his team apart. I mean, Splice just can't find a fight. That's another inhibitor falling in mid lane. Now the rest of Vitality walks down bottom lane, and the engage does not work. Xerxes is unable to find the Echo, who just onto one or two targets, and they weren't able to find that. And uh, a whole yeah, different and, sort of tells the story. That just sounds slow to me. That is like that, but now Vitality with four members in the bottom lane, Jazuke escorting the wave in mid, getting ready for the pick on the copy. Will he go oh, for it? He will. The stun. Oh not my even god! Needed. That echo damage is disgusting. Level 17 for Jazuke. Jack over to fall, but the hook not going to connect. Jazuke just continuing to throw in the poke. Vitality in an absolutely dominant position as Cabo slide steps the sleepy trouble bubble. Jazuke fishing for yet another stun, but we walking the wave in mid lane. It looks like Vitality are determined to end. Here comes the ultimate though, going in for Vizichachi. Humanoid locked up, but it might not be enough. Immediately the Jarvan goes in as well. He's in the fountain, but he's burning down. He is going to survive. Double kill comes in for Jisuke. Vitality cleaning it up in style, but nothing left. Pull the Orn right back into the team. Attila unstoppable now. And this is going to be a victory. He flashes in. Oh. He gets sleepy in the fountain. It's the one for one. But at the end of the day, Andrew Vitality find the win. They find the win, and they find it quick here. Up against Splice. It was just that one team fight in the middle lane, inside the jungle of Splice. And Vitality their train would not be stopped. Really, at the end of the day, we got nervous. We looked at what the analyst desk said, and we're like, this is the inconsistency they talked about. Oh my god, it's they died falling twice. apart, but it was also the Splice early game they talked about. And then the mid game, it was Vitality who showed up, who found that opportunity, who turned the game around. And once Splice were on the back foot, just did not see much. We saw a lot of engages where Vitality was dictating the pace, and a lot of Orn horns that I feel like were, were very responsive, trying desperately to save what was a one-sided fight. Yeah, he was trying to call for the fight. Unfortunately, Vitality outmanned them. They outgunned them. And they just took it to him right there. And with that win, and of course, Shock was lost earlier today. Vitality One, two, three, already sold the of second place. Crucial as we move forward, as we look at what that can do for you, of course, puts you into the pseudo double elimination bracket. They will have to hold on to it in the games to come, but definitely have to be feeling good about it right now. You absolutely do, and we know this team lives and dies by their solo laners, and Cabochard and Jazuke had two incredible performances in this game. Cabochard had Mowgli play for him early on, be able to dive that horn, build up a big advantage, and use that initiation tool to just dive onto the backline repeatedly, tag team with Jazuke to kill Kabe and Humanoid nearly every time.